Hey, welcome back everybody and today I have Android TV for you guys now. This is running on a PC. Yes, I have gone ahead and built uh, an Android x86 modified uh, version that runs the Android TV applications. Now this is running on an i3 so it would uh, it would run on most computers out there. So as you can see we have our Android TV user interface in front of us. I was uh, streaming through some of the uh, Twitch applications and I have my suggestions right over here. Now down here we have only three applications for now which I have installed separately and will not come in the build. So for first we have YouTube. Now opening YouTube it gives us uh, our Android TV YouTube user interface and from there we can actually go ahead and search so let's search for something uh, that would be youtube safe and there we have uh, and let's see how the video plays it should play fine and it is so this is uh, our youtube application it works fine it works well and let's just go back to our home and then, then next we have the uh, cyanogen mod uh, file manager this comes pre-installed I did not uh, install it separately so you can actually browse through your uh, files now our last application on the line is actually twitch so uh, twitch the app itself works uh, I don't think the uh, streaming works as yet so now if we uh, wait long enough you should actually see the chat pop up so we have the chat and the video won't play so that's one of the first bugs uh, now of course this is an experimental build so not everything works I could not find an appropriate gaps package for it uh, apparently Android TV needs a separate one also uh, your network settings would work normally and you will be able to connect to the Wi-Fi or the Ethernet but your uh, settings app itself doesn't work it crashes so that has to be fixed now for developers and if they actually want to work around on Android and of course this user interface is quite limiting with the uh, especially with the settings app not working I have included the default launcher so you just press the home button and you get an option to use launcher 3 now this comes by default with uh, lollipop and as you can see we are in our normal Android environment now we can go back to the TV environment as well as switch to our non normal Android environment in this build uh, we have our applications as usual and our settings to play with so yes this was the first build so of course a big thanks to the android x86 community as well as uh, pohd from github whose uh, tutorial i kind of followed to install android uh, tv on the on over the normal android build so this actually works uh, okay and I would actually like you guys to do uh, check out the ISO and the github link in the description below uh, I would be pasting the modified source uh, and the particular source that you guys need to modify uh, with uh, some amount of documentation so you guys can replicate this build now of course uh, this has a long way to go to be even remotely useful for someone sitting on uh, their couch and having their media TV attached to it. I did also however try to incorporate the Android remote application. So here I have my phone and let's go ahead and so it shows it has uh, detected my PC now I'll just click on it and you can see I have my uh, code on the TV so the uh, Android remote is being recognized so I'll just go ahead and enter that 
and it crashes so my Android phone is showing the uh, interface but unfortunately the uh, Android TV remote service has stopped so yes that happens and of course if you can guys can see it shows Motorola Moto E is paired successfully and then the Android TV remote service stops so that's about it for this video and I'll get back to you guys when I have an update or when someone has an update and I'll let you know how to experiment with all of that. Uh, all the links are in the description below so make sure to check them out. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.